The classic World War II helmet, the Stahlhelm M35, and its various forms have endured long after Germany's defeat in 1945, and is even in use today in many nations. This is surprising for many, as the shape is a direct reminder of Nazi Germany, but for various reasons this provocative and emotive helmet continues in service even in 2022. The M35 was a modernised and updated version of the first German steel helmet, the M1916, introduced in the middle of World War I to protect soldiers from shrapnel and grenade fragments. Out of all the World War I helmets used by the various powers, the M16 and its variants was probably the best at providing excellent head and neck protection, though at some cost in hearing for the soldier. The Nazi-era M35 reduced the depth of the neck guard and the peak length, and deleted the famous lugs used to hold extra steel plate for snipers and the like. The new helmet, and its slightly updated versions, the M40, became standard German kit in World War II. Updated again in 1942 when the helmet's rolled edges were omitted to save metal and manufacturing time, producing the M42. The M35 style helmet sold well abroad, being used heavily by nationalist China, Hungary, Finland and several other countries. When the war ended, tens of millions of these helmets were scrapped, while millions more were stored. Many nations, for example Norway, reused German Stahlhelms to equip their own forces. West Germany issued the type to two civil organisations in the post-war period, the Bundesgrenzschutz, the Federal Border Service and the Bereitschaftspolizei, an armed police unit. In the 1950s, three limited production updated Stahlhelms were manufactured for these organisations, many made using the original helmet presses. However, the West Germans drew the line at equipping its new army, the Bundeswehr, with World War II era designs, opting instead for their own version of the US M1, the M56. East Germany went another way, adopting the truly ghastly East German helmet, the M56. However, this was actually a World War II design dating from 1942, but it never replaced the M35 in World War II military service. The reason the East Germans adopted it was because it was a German design, but the closest in style to the Soviet helmet of the period. Although quite bizarre to look at, apparently has excellent ballistic characteristics. Incidentally, the cut-down paratrooper version of the M35 saw service after World War II in West Germany, equipping not paratroops, but GSG-9 Special Forces units, and new helmets were likewise manufactured post-war. Some of these post-war manufactured paratrooper-style helmets are often passed off as World War II Luftwaffe examples, along with the usual Chinese and Russian fakes. The German fire service continued using a modified plastic version of the Nazi-era fire helmet until very recently, and it is probably still in service with some reserve firefighting units today. Further afield, both World War I and World War II Stahlhelms equipped the Royal Afghan Army into the 1970s, and also was used by some elements of the People's Liberation Army in China from captured nationalist stocks until the 1970s. Likewise, Spain used her own version throughout the Franco-Fascist era until the 1970s. South American countries often opted for the Stahlhelm. The reason was the same as nationalist China. Prussia and later Germany had helped to organise and train those armies in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. So these countries retained a lot of German kit, now used for ceremonial occasions only. The Bolivian army has retained the Stahlhelm for full dress uniform, but by far the most extensive use of the German Stahlhelm today is by the Army of Chile, which has used the type since the 1930s, but coupled with the field grey uniforms and Mauser rifles and the Prussian marching music, the sight evokes memories of the Wehrmacht in the early 1940s.